A couple of our weather top stories on this Saturday, August 25th. That includes an update on land. We're watching the Hawaiian Islands dealing with an excessive amount of rainfall, especially on the Big Island. Uh, some storms in the Midwest, some of which may be severe today, plus a very hot day ahead in places like St. Louis and Kansas City, where we have some heat advisories going into effect. So first, it's out to the Hawaiian Islands. Now, uh, this storm system now downgraded to a tropical storm, but continues to bring an enormous impact to the Hawaiian Islands. The Big Island has had a tremendous amount of rain. We're talking about uh, 40 plus inches already fallen on the windward, silent, uh, the windward side of the Big Island. Now the storm system isn't moving uh, very quickly, so although it is slightly weakening, it still continues to sit very close to the islands. Uh, as we head through the rest of the weekend, it'll gradually move uh, westward and away from the area into the middle of this upcoming week. So flash flooding, uh, damaging wind, those will continue to be some of the primary concerns as the system departs the area in the coming days. Back across the Continental 48, we have the potential for a few showers and thunderstorms, some of which may be on the strong side across portions of central and northern Minnesota. Elsewhere across the nation, uh, fairly quiet conditions here as we head into the weekend. We've got some warm weather, though, on the way for places like St. Louis. High temperatures there in the low 90s, but considering uh, those dew points, the humidity, it's a little bit higher in those areas in the coming days. So that's going to put that heat index well up into that triple digit range. Warm weather down toward Texas as well, mid to upper 90s in those areas. A little more comfortable though out in the northwest. High temperatures in the low 70s for places like Seattle and Portland in the northeast. A beautiful day ahead in our nation's capital with a high temperature of 82.